Hello and welcome to the fourth part of my Kerbal Space Program plugin tutorial series. In the last video we gave our window some style, but there still is a big problem with the code we currently have, in that it does not support multiple parts handling. So in this video I'll show exactly what happens when there is no multiple parts handling. This will give you a better idea of why it is important and the implications of not having it implemented. Then we will start creating our multiple parts handler, which will only allow the first part containing the plugin tutorial part module to run, but will also allow any successive parts containing the module to take over if the first one is destroyed. This multiple parts handler will be programmed as a portable class extension, which is one of the lesser well known, but a powerful feature of the C Sharp programming language. Ok, so you can see here I've just loaded up Kerbal Space Program, and we're just going to start our game which we had before and just so you know that nothing um, odd is going on I'll just recreate the pod so there's our pod with the one tutorial part attached to it so if we go to launch this you will see that it still comes up with our window in the corner here still draggable everything like that working absolutely fine so let's come out of here in the flight Let's go back to the vehicle assembly building. And now we're back here. Let's just stick on another one of these tutorial parts and launch it. And now, as you can see up here, our window has gone all corrupted. We can't drag it or anything, can't do anything. That's no use to anyone. We need to add in some multiple part handling. OK, now let's get down to some programming. We're going to be making a class extension of the type part which is going to include a function called is primary to check whether the current part that you're checking is the primary part for the module in a specific list so first we need to add in um, a folder just to keep it all organized and we're going to call it extensions and in here we're going to add a class and we're going to use part extensions it's really simple to make an extension class you just have the normal class name and then just add on extensions after it let's add that so it's made our um, part extensions class here what we're going to need we're going to need the collections using statement there and we're going to also need using unity engine as well and for the part extensions it's got to be a public static class and all of the functions inside are also going to have to be public static. Uh, we'll be making a public static boolean value so it's going to return if it's true or false is primary and this is what changes between normal functions or methods and extensions because we're going to use this uh, part and then call it this part um, in there. So this is going to get um, the part that it's associated with and plug it into this variable here. Uh, now we're going to need two other variables. We're going to want a list of all the parts in the ship and we're also going to need the module's class ID. So we can search through the list for the module and make sure it's not the primary part or if it is the primary part then we'll return true. So we want a list of parts which we're going to be putting in and we're going to call that parts list and we're also going to want an integer of module class ID which is what we're going to search for and we're going to return false as the default statement there so the default value which it will return and we'll run through a loop so for each part and we're going to call it a part in our parts list so it's going to loop through every um, part in the parts list looking for a part containing the module with the class id which we're giving into this function so if part.modules.contains our module class id we'll then go on to the next bit which is basically to check if this part is equal to our current part so let's see we we'll go if uh, part is equal to this part so if they're both the same we will then return true so because it's going to be the first item 
uh, there. And if it isn't, we're just going to break out of the loop. So it's going to go through, it's going to find the, the first part it comes across with the part module in it. It's then going to step into this area. It's going to then check to see whether this first part is this part here, the overall part. If it is the first part, it's going to return true, else it's going to break out of this loop entirely and then return false. So we're just going to save that there and then, then let's go back to plugin tutorial. We'll now need to go to using plugin tutorial.extensions. Uh, we need to add that in because we've made this new folder over here with this class in here which is using namespace plugin tutorial extensions. So we'll just add that in so we can use it. Now on the on draw method we will add in this dot part so this part associated with where this module is running on and then we'll use is primary so that is our extension function which we've just made and the parts list is going to be this vessel dot parts so all of the parts on this vessel and the class id is going to be this class id which is the class id for this module and having it on the on draw method basically means that this module will start up, it will initialize everything, but it won't get drawn and it won't do anything unless it is the primary part. This allows for if the primary part is destroyed, this part will be able to take over. So now let's what let's do, let's build the project because we've got everything ready there. We'll build it and we will start up Kerbal Space Program using our batch file, of course. So it's copied over our plugin tutorial DLL and we'll just wait for this to load. Okay, now that it's loaded, let's start our game again and resume it. And let's just go straight to Launchpad. So as you can see here, our plugin is working. It is all draggable, it's working absolutely fine, and as you can see on this command pod, it has got both of our parts. And I think that is a success, it is working absolutely perfect. And that class extension you can use in other plugins you make and everything like that. So it just makes it much more accessible and you won't have to make it again. And that is it for this video. Thanks for watching through and if you found it informative, please remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more.